Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome back to tutorial number 26. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about the nth child pseudo class. So a lot of guys have actually been requesting after my previous uploads that I make an nth child video. And um, I actually, to tell you the truth, did plan on making this video before the requests but now that you guys have actually requested it I thought I would just hurry up and get it done okay so if you guys are new to HTML and you don't know what the nth child does then basically um, it allows us to style every other element on the web page so in other words if I had 10 paragraphs I could turn every second paragraph uh, a different color or if I had a row, I could, or a table, sorry, I could turn every second row in my table a different color, and it would just make things a lot uh, easier to read uh, for the user. So just that's something that we can use the nth child pseudo class for. So let's go ahead and actually get started. And I'm going to create a parent div just for uh, styling purposes and neatness. And I'm going to call this div parent uh, for no reason other than the fact that it's going to be the parent div of all of my paragraphs. <clears throat> okay, so now we can go ahead and create a paragraph. And the content is obviously not important for this tutorial. So let's just write something random like I like green eggs and ham. Okay, so... Uh, We've basically got one paragraph here. I'm just going to duplicate that a few times. So I'm just going to place my cursor before those paragraphs and hit Control D a few times. And uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and we'll make an even number, 14. Okay. And if we run this in Firefox now, uh, there's nothing special about this. It's just uh, 14 normal, plain old paragraphs. But let's go ahead and actually style them and uh, make every second paragraph a different color. So to do that, uh, we can go over to our CSS page over here and just select all of the paragraphs inside of our parent div. So uh, we're just going to use a child selector here, so parent p, and basically this means that get all, go ahead and get all the paragraphs inside of the div parent, which are all of these, and then let's go ahead and grab the nth child. So uh, nth child basically just means how many uh, you want to grab, and you're going to put then you are going to put in these uh, parentheses over here. Okay. And this is actually going to be an argument that we have to supply to CSS. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and type in the keyword of even. Or you could go ahead and type in the keyword of odd. They will both work. Uh, obviously, one will change the odd paragraphs and the other one would change the even paragraphs. So let's go ahead and actually... Uh, just style these paragraphs. So I'm going to go ahead and give them maybe a background color of gray and um, a different color. So let's just give them a color red. Uh, so now if I go ahead and save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh, uh, that actually looks hideous. But we now have every second paragraph um, has a different background color and some red text, although that red text just doesn't very stand out very well. Uh, change that to blue or something. Probably also going to look bad, but hey. Okay, so like I said, we could use even, or we could also use the keyword of odd, and that will grab every odd paragraph okay and uh, so what I, the other thing we could do is instead of giving the keyword of odd or even we could give this a pattern to follow so let's say we wanted 
um, every every second element to change color then I could go ahead and supply the argument of 2n over here and that would change every second element so the first element didn't change but the second element now has uh, these this uh, blue color with the gray background and if I go ahead and change this to 4n then it would go ahead and select every fourth element instead of every second so uh, one two three four that one styled one okay one two three four and that one styled so that's also one way you could use this and lastly I just want to let you guys know that if you just put a number value in here over here so if you don't include uh, the n then what happens is HTML will only select the fourth element uh, in that list or in that group so let's go back here and click refresh and as you can see one two three four so this has been styled uh, and then nothing else after that gets styled so if you want um, the pattern to be able to repeat then you have to actually um, include that in and if you don't want it to be a pattern just go ahead and supply a normal uh, number with no n and that's how to use the nth child pseudo class so I hope this video was helpful and uh, of course and as always don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time